How's it going guys? I'm Dionysius and welcome to another episode of Siege Strats, a series where I am giving beginner strategies on how to attack in Rainbow Six Siege. After the first two videos of Clubhouse, we're now going to be approaching a new map, Bank. This personally for me is one of my favourite maps to play because the sheer size allows each game to play out differently, even if defensive setups can be very uniform. This video we're going to be looking at attacking the CCTV bombsite of the Lockers CCTV defence on Bank. Your end objective in this strategy is going to be opening this wall, the north wall into CCTV and planting inside the breach. This map in general is a tough one to attack due to the wide area of potential roaming presence, but if you're able to apply good flank watch and roam clear, this guide to the site execute should give you a very simple and effective way of winning the round. Firstly, there are two operators that are going to be key here, both of them hard breaches. Thermite is going to be your main way to attack the site, so once again it is vital you are able to protect him until the execute. You are also going to need a hard breacher for the hatches, either Hibana or Maverick. Hibana is always a safer bet as she can open three hatches over Maverick's potential too, but if you run without a Thatcher or if Hibana is banned, Maverick can work in a pinch. As always, a Thatcher is strongly recommended to counter any defensive denial of the site and hatches, as well as a good fragger or two to help with the roam clear and flanking such as Ash. Again, Gridlock can be strong for this push, and so can Montaigne, as smoke grenades can help mask the push, and they both have excellent post-plant utility. The first part of this strategy is to gain control of the skylight area of the map on the first floor. This is going to be a difficult job, as there are a lot of potential angles that you can be eliminated from here. While this guide doesn't include a roam clear, a very effective way of clearing is to work from the top down, droning together to push defenders away from the top floor, clear the first floor, and force them back towards the basement side. Once you accomplish clearing the second and first floors, it will be important to set up a flank watch on the main stairwell next to open area. With Skylight locked down, this is the defender's only potential flanking avenue. Once cleared and with Skylight control, you need to start opening some hatches. The two most important hatches are the server room hatch in Skylight and the CCTV office hatch in the small office next to open area. These will lock down the CCTV site and force out anyone holding the actual room of CCTV, although it is unlikely anyone will be sitting there. If there is anyone holding the blue stairs to stop you from pushing down, the skylight hatch will also assist in clearing them out as they will either be forced to retreat or be in a position to be flanked. One of the tougher parts of this strategy is clearing out behind server stacks. If you have a Jaeger sat behind there with ADSs, it is almost impossible to flush them out without a coordinated push, so make sure you drone carefully to ensure nobody is back there and clear them well if they are. Once you have server room control, it's important to find out one piece of key information. Is mirror in play? If they don't have a mirror, you will want to start by opening the east wall into CCTV with thermite to look onto the back wall of sight into red corridor. This will allow you to assist defending the plant from behind the server stacks. If they do have a mirror, you absolutely want to leave this wall closed, as it is too easy to get killed from the defenders sitting behind that wall when they have a clear view of you through a mirror window. It can also be worthwhile here to have somebody holding from the bottom of blue stairs to be ready for an angle from the CCTV doorway, unless somebody's covering from the hatch above, which can also cover this angle. If the walls or hatches are electrified, it's a very simple job for a Thatcher EMP. With this preparation in place, it's time for the execute. First you will need Thermite to open the north wall into CCTV site so that you have a safe spot to plan. When that's open, crouch walk in and turn your back to the room. This way you can effectively plant just outside of the room itself while being almost entirely covered from the main doorway into site and the red hallway where a defender is most likely sitting. Now a big warning here, you will probably have to attempt to plant multiple times and possibly even lose a player trying to plant. It's very important that if they have a smoke or any operators with C4 utility to bait out the utility with fake plants so that you can safely get the diffuser down. Have your teammates look out for you for C4s so that you can pull off the plant and run away, wasting the utility. As you can see, it doesn't even take a good or accurate C4 to kill you while planting. Once you get the diffuser down, this will be one of the easiest post-plant situations you can hold. Pushing back into blue stairs, you can hold a great angle looking onto the diffuser as it is in such an exposed position in the breach. 
It's also possible to hold the diffuser here from dirt tunnel, behind the server stacks and even, albeit a tougher angle, from the server hatch. You will be able to guard the CCTV doorway from the open area office hatch to cut off that avenue, forcing defenders into an almost impossible post-plant situation as long as you hit your shots. This diffuser in this breach is so open anybody attempting to disable it should be a very easy kill and round win. So thanks for watching guys, I hope this video was helpful and if you have any additions to this strategy or comments on how effective it was for you, feel free to leave a comment below and of course like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and to hear about the next Siege Strats video as soon as it drops. Don't forget to follow on Twitter as well with the link in the comments to vote on the next poll for which map to cover next. Now go and win some rounds and I'll see you in the next one.